You've downloaded OBS, you've gotten all your overlays and settings set up for the most part, but you're still confused. What bit rate should I be streaming at and what server should I be streaming to? Well, we're gonna cover both of those subjects in this video and I'm gonna be helping you figure out what the best settings are gonna be for you. Before we get into this video, I do want to let you guys know I stream live on Twitch every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You can find me there at twitch.tv slash eaglegarrett, and you can swing by any time. Let me know if you have any questions in the chat, or also you can leave a comment down below on this video, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can and try to answer those questions the best I can. Okay, so we're going to be covering the two questions that I mentioned in the beginning of the video. The first of which is what bitrate should I be streaming at? And the second one is which Twitch server should I be pushing my stream out to when I'm using OBS? So we're going to jump into OBS right here. And uh, assuming you've already downloaded the program, go down here to the settings tab and click on settings. When you click on settings, it's going to bring up your settings menu. And we're going to be focusing first on this stream tab right here. And uh, you can see, you can pick what service you're going to be streaming to. We're going to be streaming to Twitch. So we're going to select Twitch. And then you can either connect your account here or you can use your stream key. And if you click on use stream key, it's going to bring up a box where you can paste that stream key in. But also you see the setting that says servers right here. Well, we're going to have to select what server we want. And when we click that, you can do an auto recommended server, which will try to pick the best server for you. But what I suggest is figuring out manually what the best server is. And that way you can be sure that this thing is not messing up and causing you to have some kind of latency or ping or things like that. High ping levels, you know. So what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we're going to look for, uh, in my case, North American servers. I'm in uh, North America, so I'm going to scroll down until I see my my uh, U.S. There's all these U.S. servers, and uh, you can see there's a U.S. Central, and I'm I'm in the Central area. So U.S. Central, you know, Dallas, Denver, and Houston. These are the these are the three closest ones to me. Now I know this because I've run a few tests, and I'm going to show you which tests I've run to figure this out. But how do you know? How do you figure out which of these servers is going to be best? I know that my area is probably US Central, but I don't know which one is going to be closest to me out of these three central servers, or actually four central servers. So what we're going to do is we're going to download a program from the internet. Uh, the first internet, or the first program that we're going to download is um, it's over here at r1ch.net. And, uh, and I'll put a link to this website in the description of this video. But when you get to this website, you're going to go over here at the top right hand corner to this thing that says Twitch test. And we're going to click that button. When we do, it's going to bring up uh, kind of an about uh, this program section. And you can go through and you can kind of see what the the program is going to look like and you can read more about it and what the quality and bandwidth stuff is all about. But we're going to scroll down and, and right under download here, there's a place that says download in bold and then Twitch test 1.52. Now this is the newest version. You may check back on a regular basis to see if they've updated it, but you're going to go ahead and click this and download Twitch test 1.52 right here. Okay, so once you've downloaded the Twitch test from this website, we're going to go ahead and open up that Twitch test program going to ask if you want to allow the app to make changes to your device. Yes, we do. And it's going to open up the program right here. Now, the first thing you need to do is where it says stream key. You need to click this get key button, which is going to take you to your Twitch account you've already set up and signed into. And it's going to take you to the exact page you need to copy your Twitch key from and paste it in right here. So once you've done that, go ahead and paste in your Twitch key. Um, make sure that this TCP window size is set to 64K. That should be defaulted there. And then the test duration, we want to go ahead and put this on medium 30 seconds. This actually makes sure that each test goes a little bit longer to make sure your connection is uh, really stable. So go ahead and change that to medium at 30 seconds. And then you need to pick your, uh, your region here. Are you in a North American region, a European region, South America, Asia, or an other? right? We're going to go ahead and pick North America for us. And when we check mark that box, we're going to scroll down and we're going to notice that Canada and Mexico have been selected as well as all the US servers. Well, we don't need to check Canada or Mexico. So we're going to un check mark those three options right there. And then we're going to go down and we're going to make sure that only our US servers are check marked and they all are. So once they're all check marked, nothing else is check marked here. 
we're going to go ahead and hit start. When we hit start, it's going to shrink down this list to only those servers that we selected. And now it's going to start running the test. And each one of these tests is going to take 30 seconds. So I'm going to give this just a minute. I'm going to cut the video. We'll come back after it's finished running this test. And I'll explain to you what each of these different things like bandwidth, RTT and quality all mean. Now, as you can see, it's still running the test and every time it finishes a 30 second test, it comes back with a quality return. So this is going through testing each one of these servers at 30 second intervals. So we're going to let it continue and finish out doing this test. But uh, you can already see that it's in the works here. You just have to give it 30 seconds. It's going to look like it's paused, uh, but watch it after the 30 seconds is over. It's going to return back the quality and move to the next server. So we should see that happen pretty quickly with the uh, the Denver. There it is. Comes back with a quality return and it's going to test the next, the next uh, server. Okay, so now that the test is finished, we can see three different things that I wanna point out to you first. The first one is bandwidth right up here. The second one is your RTT or basically your ping to each particular server and your quality of the test that you ran. So uh, under bandwidth, you'll notice that I have 10,000 plus. This test will only go up to 10,000 kbps, which is about 10 megabits per second. Uh, and it won't go higher than that. So even though your, your kilobits per second could be much higher, it will only max out at 10,000. Um, so if you have a 10,000 plus, it means that you're doing great. The reason why is because you can't stream to Twitch with a bit rate over 6,000 kbps. So there's no reason for this to go higher than 10,000. Um, you just need to know that you, you know, you're able to reach 10,000 or, or a, another number. If you're able to reach lower than that, uh, then the next thing we want to look at is our ping over here to the right side. Uh, the lower the ping, the quicker that connection between you and the server that you're streaming to. And then the quality is how solid that connection is, how smooth it is, um, how reliable it is. So what we're looking for is we're looking for a 10,000 plus kbps or the highest kbps that you can find, the highest bandwidth you can find. We're looking for the lowest ping that you can find and the best quality. So this may mean that you have to, you know, kind of make some compromises in one of the couple areas, depending on how the tests come back. If we look at our tests here, we'll see that Dallas, Texas has a 10,000 plus kbps with a 19 millisecond ping and a 100 quality. Now, anything above 80 is considered a good connection. So if you have anything above 80, that's a good connection. 100 is the, the top that you can have. So my connection to Dallas is very, very good uh, right now. The other thing about it is if you look down here to like Houston, Texas, this one has also a 10,000 kbps, an 18 millisecond um, response time, and a 99 quality. So we're giving one, one tick on quality to gain one tick on ping, right? So we go with one tick lower ping, one tick lower quality. Well, lower ping is better but lower quality is not good. So out of this and the Dallas servers, I would probably take the one millisecond higher ping to get that 100% quality because it means my connection is gonna be more solid to the Dallas server. Now, if you go down the list here, you'll see towards uh, Portland, Oregon, which is in the, the, uh, like the West Coast servers, I have an 8,270 kbps with a 61 millisecond ping. I still have an, in the 80s uh, connection quality, so technically I could stream to this um, to this server, but my my latency would be much higher, so that my, the you know my stream would be much more delayed, and the quality is not uh, it's not in the 100s, which means my quality is going to be uh, lower on that server as well. So we wouldn't choose any of these servers, uh, probably in this case because my ping is the best on these top three central servers and I'm in the central region, so that makes sense. Uh, I would stream to Dallas, Texas first and my second option would be Houston, Texas. Um, so what you need to do is you need to find out which one's gonna be best for you. Look for the highest bandwidth number, the lowest ping and the highest quality that you can find and uh, you know, kind of get the, the best of, of as many of those categories as possible and choose that as your server to stream to. So now that we know which server we're gonna stream to, we're gonna select Dallas, Texas. We're gonna close the program. And from this list, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna select Dallas, Texas right here. So we have Dallas, Texas. We're gonna put in our, our uh, streaming key right there and we are set to go on which server to stream to. So now we can go over to the output tab and you'll notice that right here, you can see bit rate. Based on the Twitch test that we just did, we could change this bitrate all the way up to 6,000 because we know that our, our bandwidth goes 
10,000 plus kbps, right? We know that we have a 10,000 plus, so we have 20 we have plenty of upload speed to bump this all the way up to the maximum setting that Twitch allows, which is 6,000. You can't stream more than 6,000 to Twitch. Uh, so you can max this out right here to 6,000. But there is a, a slight caveat to this. And what that is, is the fact that people will not be able to watch your stream if they do not have a download speed that is at or above your upload speed that you're streaming at. So for instance, if somebody has a five megabyte download speed and you're streaming at a six megabyte or a 6,000 kbps upload speed, then when they come to your stream and they try to watch at 6,000 kbps, it's going to be really stuttery. It's going to, it's going to buffer a lot. They're going to have issues watching your stream because their internet is not able to keep up with the, um, the upstream or the, the upload that you're using to stream your particular stream. Now, this does not apply to Twitch partners. If you're a Twitch partner, then you probably already know all of this stuff, but also you're gonna have what they call transcoding options. And let me show you, we're gonna go over to Tim the Tatman's channel right here. And under the bottom right-hand corner of his stream, if you click on this, you notice that there's a quality option at the top. And when you click on that, it gives you different quality options. So for instance, his max quality is 900 by 60. And uh, we know that 900 uh, 900p at 60 frames a second is is the top that we can watch and since our uh, download speed is 751 from earlier we know that that's plenty we can watch this stream no problem it's not going to buffer but if our download speed is less is less than his upload speed which is most likely 6000 we're not going to be able to watch at 900p 60 frames a second so we could always bump it down to 720p 60 frames a second or we could go down to even uh, if we needed to 480p which is still is still watchable right it's still watchable and then at 480p our and our internet would be able to handle it if we weren't able to uh, get a, a fast enough internet and it was buffering all the time so if you're a twitch partner you have these options but if you're not a twitch partner you don't always have these options uh these are available sometimes for twitch affiliates other times they're not and uh and so it's one of those things where you don't want to be streaming you don't want to be streaming at a, a quality or a bit rate that's too high for your viewers to watch. So what I suggest is, let's say that you have an eight, uh, let's say you have a 10,000 plus kbps, which means your upload can handle all the way, you know, 10,000 plus, you're fine. A good rule of thumb is to keep this kbps, if you're not a Twitch partner, to 3,500 to 4,500 kbps. Uh, I actually stream at 4,500 kbps because usually people do have a download speed that's five megabits download or more this hasn't been too much of an issue for me so 4500 does tend to be a great place to stream at uh every once in a while someone will come in and and have a little bit of trouble watching the stream a lot of times transcoding options are available uh it's, it's there's no guarantee if you're not a twitch partner but sometimes they are there and so people can use that but uh, 4500 is a good level if you can if you can stream at that high of a level if your kbps on your twitch test comes back as you know 6000 then you don't want to stream at 4500 you want to bump this down to about half of whatever your twitch bandwidth test tells you so you want to bump this down to maybe 3500 and try that out or 3000 because you're still going to need uh some upload to run the game that you're playing and uh to run some processes you know and your alerts and things like that uh so you don't want to you don't want to do this higher than about half of whatever your upload is now once you cross that 10 megabit per second upload speed um, or 10,000 kbps once you've passed that then you could stream all the way up to 6,000 and you wouldn't have a problem but uh, if you're just lower than the 10 megabytes or 10,000 kbps you want to do about half of whatever it comes back at so if you have 10,000 exactly or 10 megabytes upload you don't want this to be more than 5,000 kbps and also you want to make sure that you have your bitrate control on CBR, which is a, a constant bit rate, right? A constant bit rate. You don't want it. You don't want to change this to anything else. Uh, you want it to be a constant bit rate. Now here pretty soon, they're also going to add a dynamic bit rate, which may be interesting to test out because instead of dropping frames, if your bandwidth drops down at any point, it will just adjust your bit rate upload speed for you automatically. That's something to test when that comes out in the, in the next, uh, the next version of OBS, but that's it guys. It's that simple. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did hit that subscribe button, 
button and that little bell to get notifications for when new videos go up. Also smack the thumbs up button if you like the video. I would appreciate that very, very much. Um, and also, again, a reminder, I am streaming live on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Eagle Garrett. I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. So check me out on those. And guys, rock on. Peace out. God bless. Thanks for checking out the video. And uh, last but not least, caca! Oh yeah, dude, we got some guys down here. Yep. Oh, this guy's this guy's weak right here. Got him. Got him. Oh, I got another one, dude. I just got two, bro. My guy, my guy. Let's go. Let's go, dude. I just killed that guy with a porta potty. <laughs> Let's go.